Imagine what it must be like to suddenly feel lost in a place that you've known all your life. It seems strange, alien, and you feel you've never been there before. Imagine what it must feel like to look into the eyes of a loved one and think, do I know you? I wonder who you are. People you've loved throughout your entire life are now strangers and you don't know them. Imagine also if you can't remember your name or what happened yesterday, where you went, what you did, what you said. How confusing and frightening that would be. Welcome to the world of dementia. People with dementia slowly start to lose their patterns of behaviour as well as their memory. They can become isolated in their new and lonely world, and this can lead to depression. The usual activities that they have enjoyed have become meaningless, and it may seem as if they're lying because they just can't remember. They can also have trouble pronouncing words as well as saying them incorrectly, and in their confusion, this can lead to difficulties in communication, as well as feelings of embarrassment, hopelessness, hurt and anger with a lack of empathy developing. As time progresses, a person with dementia will need help from friends, family and loved ones. Dementia can start much earlier than Alzheimer's and in some cases can begin when a person is in their 40s. Nearly 1 million people in the UK alone have dementia and 1 in 14 are over the age of 65. Getting an early diagnosis is very important in order to prepare for the future. At the moment, there is no cure, but there are ways of slowing down the disease. Memory activities are important for people with dementia, as they can be carried out in small groups as well as individually. They can also be tailor-made to suit the needs and unique interests of the individual, so they can focus on their past activities with modifications to keep things simple for them and appropriate for their abilities. As the person is enjoying the activity, they are communicating, participating and enjoying themselves at the same time. This also has a therapeutic benefit for them as well. The activities stimulate the memory, concentration and thinking and friends and family can also participate, reducing the risk of them becoming isolated. There are many ways that people with dementia can keep involved and active. Doing household tasks such as gardening, cleaning and cooking can be done as usual with a few minor changes to keep things simple and be adapted to their ability. Tasks that require organisational skills such as sorting and packing are beneficial for the mind and reading and puzzles also keeps the brain active. Practising arts and crafts is a fun way to keep busy and can be done in groups as well as dancing and music which is also very sociable as well as playing board games and cards. Group and animal therapy is also very therapeutic and going on outings to see and experience new things can be very stimulating and exciting. Certain natural remedies and foods can be very useful for helping combat dementia. Adding more sage, wheat germ and saffron into the diet will be very beneficial and the herbal medicine Jinkgo is known to fight dementia. It can be very hard to see a loved one, friend or relative with dementia. In other cultures and in previous generations here in the UK, the elderly were cared for by the family with responsibilities being divided according to means, abilities, capabilities and willingness. Today, sadly, many elderly are in care homes with little and infrequent visits from their relatives. Whilst some care homes are magnificent, Others have fallen far behind in their standards and finance seems to be the main priority and has taken the place of care. Remember back if you had loving parents and family who took good care of you when you were young and helped you in your time of need. This may not be the case for some, but for many it is. They did their duty to you with love and kindness. Now it's your turn to do the same for them.